Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'm going to do a commentary video. I'm not going to channel anyone specifically in this particular video, but I want to share with you something about um, some things that I've noticed recently in regards to a lot of misperception about psychic, psychic reading, medium. I think we should clear that up, especially if you're watching Above Life channel and making comparisons to other channelers, channels, psychics, and mediums. So I am someone who is doing psychic medium work because this is who I am. And the way that I share that is always through a channel of inspiration, of insight. It has to be filled with hope. It has to encourage, inspire. It has to help people. And I'm also a life coach. I actually have a background in organizational development and learning. I have a, I mean, if you're interested in learning about me and my background as like, uh, yes, I went to college. Yes, I have a couple of degrees. Yes, I worked in the professional field for 10 years. Yes, all that. You can check out my How I Got Psychic story. It's on my website at Above Life Channel about Bridget. All right. AboveLifeChannel.com, the website about Bridget, if you want to know more about that. But I'm not going to like give you my resume here. But I've been doing psychic and intuitive and mediumship work for 15 years now. And I feel very strongly that the purpose is to empower your spirit. So you have a horse in the race. You need to be part of a session. It is a collaboration. It is a co-creative experience. It's not um, when you have a session with me or when you work with me, it's not here's the answers. I know all the answers and it's too bad for you that you're so dumb that you don't know because sometimes doesn't it feel like that? I mean, that's legit, you guys. It seems like there's other psychics and mediums and other experiences that some of you may have had and I know because you write me about them where you kind of feel dumb. You feel stupid, like you can't handle your own life, so you have to go to somebody else that can see the futures because they're so much better than you. You know, they're so spiritually elite and no one else can do these kinds of things because they're just so special. That's not true. That's a load of crap. That's a bunch of crap. The deal is you have a spirit just like I have a spirit. We are all connected to an incredible superpower within us that is our spirit and that connects us to that which is greater than us. And it just so happens that some of us utilize or leverage um, our connections in different ways. Some of us have extra, maybe extra enhanced skills in that way, just like you might have been an athlete in high school or college, you might have ran track, and now there ain't no way you're gonna be running a marathon and you're not an Olympic athlete, are you? Not to compare psychics and mediums to Olympic athletes because there's a lot of psychic and mediums out there that are people that just bought a card deck and decided to do readings for people. And so you need to really trust your own judgment, your own judgment. It's all on you, my friend, your own judgment. When you talk to somebody that is a psychic or a coach that uses card decks or is intuitive and in giving you guidance and information, it's just information and it's up to you to use your own judgment to discern what fits for you and what doesn't. Even though this person might sound like they know what they're talking about, don't give your power to somebody else. Not me, not anybody else. No, okay? I'm not gonna take your stuff, so keep quit trying to give it to me. I'm not gonna tell you answers. For me, this work is about options inspiring the options and opportunity, getting you back on track energetically so that you can show up fully for your life. Because it's not my job to tell you what the end of that play is gonna be like because we're still writing it. Your life is not predefined. Every single step you take, every mistake you make is not predetermined. It might feel like that sometimes, like life is being done to you, not happening through you. And usually when you feel like that, it means you need to sit out, sit out for a second, like sit on the bench, catch your breath, rest a little bit, stretch those muscles a little bit and get back in the game of life. The experience, the journey, nobody's going to be able to tell you exactly what's going to happen to you. 
if somebody tells you and predicts something that's going to happen because it, it's because it's in your energy field and we can see it if you're like a clairvoyant psychic or a sensing psychic you can see it i mean it's pretty it's pretty evident and there's a lot of common themes in people's like in your energy patterning and so it would impact multiple aspects of your life so it's pretty easy to say oh yeah this is pretty likely to happen when you look at the energy but it doesn't mean it has to be that way you can change you can shift you are at free will you can make different choices you can change contracts spiritual contracts you can totally take your power on as a spiritual being, as a spirit, live in a human experience, and you can make your life happen. And that's what I believe. That's what I believe. And if that's too much for you and you just want somebody else to, like your parents to, or your spouse to tell you what to do, then that's your choice. And then maybe I'm not the right coach for you because I expect you to show up and that includes when you're watching the videos. I expect you to learn and grow and to get something out of it besides, um, besides the energy of comparison. Don't compare when I tell you, when I share a life of a celebrity, don't compare yourself to that celebrity in a way that's negative. Compare yourself to the celebrity in a way that's human, that connects you, that's relatable, that inspires you, not that makes you feel less than, but that makes you feel a kinship, a true connection, kindness, humanity, support, acceptance. All right. So recently I watched a couple of, I, I watched some daily vlogs. I like daily vlogs. I, they totally work when I'm like writing stuff and vegging, checking out my emails and like cleaning and doing stuff around the house. I love daily vlog, like vloggers. And so I've seen a couple recently that I really wanted to chat with you about. One was um, someone who went to a psychic reading, had a card reading. And his whole thing was like, he wasn't gonna tell the person anything just to see if they were right. And I'm like, if you're, honey, if you're gonna go into a session like that with a psychic, then you are already gonna lose. Because then what you think is that it's a big game and that you really have no control over your life and that maybe you don't believe in anything that's um, miraculous could actually happen to you. And so you're wasting your time and your money. Don't do it. If you need somebody to prove it to you, then what you're doing is giving your power away to someone else. And what if that person just isn't that good? In this case, that person actually was good and was actually right on target, but the person receiving the information wasn't ready for the information yet. I was like practically screaming at the, the camera and I'm like watching the video. I'm like, wake up. You do need a love in your life. Wake up. You're totally ignorant to all this stuff. That is clearly where you need to focus. And, but the person just blinders on blinders on. And so it was so infuriating to watch that. And then he was all like, well, it was just too general. I'm like, that's because you weren't willing to see for yourself your life from a more open perspective. You just weren't ready, my friend. You weren't ready. And you know what? That's probably okay. Not being ready, it's, it's probably okay. But it's crazy to me then, don't spend the money, don't waste your time. Don't. It's just not worth it then. And so there was another one that I saw where some of them is like, oh, I've talked to tons of psychics and all that kind of stuff. And there's one that I know that I trust. And I'm like, well, that's good. That's good, right? And, and then he said something like, well, and, and something like, well, if the person that contacts me or if the person is a psychic or medium, they would know this special thing that my mom in the afterlife, our special sign. And, and if they didn't give me that, then I know that they wouldn't, you know, basically alluding to the fact that if they didn't know the sign, then that would be not legit. I'm like, no, it's not a test. Please, scantrons, tests do not work. Standardized testing does not work, my friend. And if you're not open-minded, you're only focused on one thing, you got the blinders on, you won't see. Remember when she took you to piano lessons? Because that's what I saw when he talked about that. I'm like, oh, I see the piano and the piano lessons and the sheet music. Did you guys sing a lot? Did you did she play the piano and you dance? Or what was going on there? Because there's a lot there that provides an extra level of depth that you, as the person receiving the reading, may have totally forgotten about, but it brings up an incredible 
memory, a bond that transcends this lifetime. And it, it creates just an incredible opportunity for love to come through. And if you're only expecting it in this way, then you're not gonna get all the rest of the goodness that is around and available to you. And sometimes when you're in a mediumship session specifically, that one person that you've gotta to talk to isn't the one that comes through first. Somebody else comes in because there's a more pressing thing that needs to be shared, a message, information, or it might be that what you really need, what you need, is to talk to this person because you've got unfinished business and it will help you to heal and then mom can come in and so you got to trust the timing and the natural unfolding of the process and you got to be open-hearted if you're going in looking for faults that's what you're going to find you're going to find what you're looking for and for me that's really difficult if you watch above life channel you know that the details for me are not stellar. It's hard for me to channel when I don't have a lot of information about that person and get very specific details. However, when I'm with you in a private session, it's different because we're having a conversation and it's so much easier for me personally, for me as a medium, if I'm doing a mediumship only specific session, this is just for me. I'm speaking for me the way that I work. Everybody's different. I can get such a better connection because of you. So I have you say the person's name and then invite the person in and through that connection, the two of you are connected, not me and that person, the two of you are connected. And it just brings this energy forward and it's so much easier to connect and to, to translate the energy into you. The gift to you is the feeling that you get and the memories that come forward and the little subtle things, the subtle things, not the factual detail obituary because you know that you wrote it big deal what you want is the feeling and the subtleties the subtle little details of the fragrance that person wore or a specific memory that that just seemed normal like every day but it was when you when you feel it it totally sums up that whole person in your relationship with that person and so that's the gift you guys that's the gift so all right, all right, so I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> I so enjoy having um, sessions with you when I can do psychic and life coaching because I think that people that are, are wanting more than just question and answers or just like a card reading kind of thing, which I don't do. Um, when I do my psychic work, I don't use card decks or, or that, I don't, I don't do that. Um, but on my vlogging channel, Fairy Grasshopper, I have been sharing card deck readings lately because I think they're fun for people and it's a less like not a scary way to get inspired and to open up to intuition and it's a great like card decks are a great tool for you to learn how to connect with your intuition and so to show people kind of this is it's not that complicated this is what you do it's no big deal um i've been doing that at fairy grass fairy grasshopper on my vlog channel at youtube so you can check that out if you're interested thanks so much for watching for being part of this incredible experience i have been learning and growing for myself because i recognize kind of the boundaries that i have in regards to spiritual work and i'm getting far more connected more deeply to my values in regards to the work that i do and how i present what psychic means into the world has always been something that i really wanted to be an advocate for your spirit and to create the the momentum of empowerment because of it. And it's not a selective thing. It's not an elite thing to be psychic. Intuition is for everyone. You have, you have a spirit and therefore that's a gift. So this is Bridget. Thank you for watching Above Life's channel. The purpose here is always to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope because this, after all, this is your life. So live it. Why don't you just live it? Thanks so much for watching.